Hey everybody, it's Gregory. So today I've got another really exciting video for you on how to earn passive income with blockchain. I'm going to show you how to set up your own chain link node so that you can, you know, earn cryptocurrency while you sleep. And that's one of the coolest things about this space. You know, there's all these opportunities to earn passive income and you have a massive leg up on this as a blockchain developer. So if you're new around here, you know, let me introduce myself. You know, I'm Gregory and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master, but you don't have to be an expert developer in order to follow along with this video. It's pretty straightforward. Like I'll show you everything step by step. The only thing that I ask in return is that you smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you like this video and you want to learn how to master blockchain step by step, from start to finish, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. So in case you're not familiar with Chainlink, it's a protocol that provides real world data to smart contract. And these are the building blocks of blockchain based applications. And Chainlink is a really hot project that's gained a lot of attention in the marketplace, especially within the last year. And for good reason, it's a really important project that fulfills a real need. So let me explain more about how that works. So Ethereum is a really advanced blockchain that supports smart contracts. Okay, these are just blockchain based programs. The smart contracts themselves are just pieces of code that live on the blockchain. But they have one really important limitation. Okay, they don't really have reliable access to outside data. So let's say you wanted to build a blockchain based application that needed some sort of outside data. Well, that's what you would use Chainlink for. So for example, let's say you wanted to create a decentralized cryptocurrency exchange powered by smart contracts and it needed to know the real world price of Ethereum, then you could use Chainlink for this. And so how it works is Chainlink uses nodes to provide this data to the smart contracts. And so what I'm going to show you how to do in this tutorial today is set up one of these nodes yourself. And when you run a node, you have the ability to earn passive income with link tokens. Okay. So this is different than, you know, running a mining node on Bitcoin or Ethereum, for example. Like those basically, you just set it up and it's there and it runs forever and you just sit back and earn passive income. So this works a little bit differently. All right. So in order to, you know, earn money with a chain link node, you basically have to look for jobs in order to fulfill the requests that are going to be processed on chain. So it's kind of like setting up your own little digital business. And so there is some work to be done to get this system set up and also to maintain it. But once it's there, you'll be able to earn passive income by fulfilling those requests. And is this the kind of thing that you're going to just like set up and instantly earn a million dollars overnight with? Well, probably not, but it's still a cool opportunity that I want to show you how to set up right now. And so before we get started, you'll need a few dependencies in your computer. The first is Docker, which is going to allow you to install the node without having to do a bunch of fancy environment configuration. Okay. So just go to docker.com, go to products and look for Docker desktop and just like download the one click installer and run that. And whenever it's finished, you should see a little whale icon up in your system tray. Okay. So next you need to sign up for two accounts. The first is Infura. This is an Ethereum node that you'll need access to. Uh, so just go ahead and create an account right here. And then also go ahead and create a Heroku account. Just head on over to heroku.com, click sign up, and we'll come back to that part later in the tutorial. All right. So the first thing we want to do is create a new directory to hold all of the chain link data. All right. So we'll do that just like this. We'll say make dear uh, chain link Robston. All right. So basically this just creates a new folder inside of our root directory uh, to put all this data. All right. And so the next thing we want to do is add all of the uh, configuration settings for the actual node itself. Okay. So Chainlink does this with environment variables. So basically these are just like, um, you know, settings for the node that we're going to store inside of an ENV file, right? So dot ENV. So we're going to add some more environment variables to this file as we go along, but these will be the, uh, you know, ones we start off with. So I'm just going to copy these and we're going to do this for the Robston test network. Okay. So we can add them to the file like this. So echo is just a Unix command that, um, you know, outputs all of this content of the string. And we can use this caret uh, to add this content to a new file like this. So, I mean, I could just as easily like open this in a text editor and put this information inside of there. All right. But we can confirm that it's inside of there like this. We can say cat, uh, let's just say dot chain link, Robston dot ENV. All right. Or you could also open that in your text editor since we're still on our local machine here. Again, a lot of these commands are designed for uh, doing this like on a Linux box where you won't 
quite as easily have access to something like, you know, Sublime Text. So you can see all the values listed here, uh, but I'll go ahead and close this for now. Next, we need to connect our node to the Ethereum blockchain. So what we're going to do is actually get a URL for a separate Ethereum node in order to connect our Chainlink node to it, okay? So uh, this is, you know, called an Ethereum client. So uh, you can do this one of two ways. You can either run your own node on your machine, uh, you know, something like Parity or Geth, for example, uh, or you can just use uh, a different Ethereum node that's already running. So that's what we're going to do in this video just to make things nice and fast. Um, so again, go ahead and sign up for an Infura account if you haven't done that already. And once you have, go ahead and get your free URL after you created an app. And make sure you use the Ropston version, okay? And also the WebSocket version. So I'll show you what that should look like, all right? So you can see here in my terminal, here's the WebSocket version. So WSS colon forward slash forward slash ropston.infura.io forward slash WS V3 and then your API key here. And then once you echo this, you know, you need to put it inside of the .env file. So you use, you know, two carrots to append that file and then, you know, home uh, forward slash dot chain link dash Robston forward slash dot .env. So now we want to do is set up the database for the node. So uh, I'm going to show you how to set up a remote database really quickly with just a few clicks. OK, and this is not necessarily the best way to do this. I'm just going to preface that before I show you these steps. Right. I'm just going to show you how to set it up quickly on your own machine. And later, if you were going to do this, on a remote server, you'd ideally want to use, you know, um, a, a better configuration than this. But I'm going to show you how to get started fast, okay? So basically, if you go to Heroku, you can just create a new app like this. You can just call it, you know, Chainlink, you know, Tests, one, two, three, whatever you want to do, okay? Go ahead and create the app. And then once the app's created, you can uh, provision new resources. So you can just look up, like, Postgres, okay? And then uh, click the hobby dev plan, it's totally free, click provision. And that will go ahead and uh, give you a free database for this app, okay? So what you can do is go to the settings, all right? And click review config variables, all right? And you'll see your database URL uh, here. So go ahead and copy this, okay? And then we're gonna use that for our chain link node. So next what we wanna do is add this database URL to our project. So we'll say echo, and then we'll say database URL equals, and then paste in that entire connection string, okay? Make sure you close the quotation marks and uh, two carrots, and then the you know chain link robson.emb file. That's how it's gonna add it to our configuration. So if you look at that, basically it has your username, password, um, database instance URL, the port, and also the database name all in the connection string. So go ahead and add that. And again, this is not the best way to do this necessarily. This is just a way that you can do it quickly without having to set up, you know, Postgres on your own computer. You know, if you wanted to, you could uh, do PSQL and then say like dash D and then template one, and then, you know, go in and actually create your own user. But I'll warn you, if you're going to do that, you're going to have some issues with Docker uh, because it's going to try to look for your database connection on your local computer, which is going to get kind of confusing because Docker manages like its own internal IP address kind of system. So um, this is the easiest way to do it for now. I would recommend doing this to get started. And if you migrate to a different, you know, hosting provider later, like Google Cloud Platform or Amazon Web Services, you can definitely set it up like an RDS instance for your database and then an EC2 instance for your Chainlink node. But for now, this is what we're going to do. And so if you do this on a server for real, uh, I highly recommend, you know, doing what they say here, basically where you save the username, password, server, port, database as, you know, variables as well. And then you build the, uh, you know, uh, URL this way. Okay. All right. And the last thing we need to do is go ahead and start our chain link node. So let's go back to our terminal and uh, enter in this command here. So we're going to change directory into the uh, chain link Robston folder where we store all the data. And then we're going to use Docker to uh, run the uh, image. Okay. And then we can tell it where it exists. All right. And also the .env file. And this tells it the location of the Docker image, okay? So let's just go ahead and run that. And here you'll see a bunch of output where uh, it's basically creating all the tables for your uh, setup. And you'll be prompt to enter a new password here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, enter the new password like this. And then confirm the password. Again, you won't see any characters displayed upon the screen. It'll just hide it from you. Then it'll ask for an email. and then a password.
All right, and now that your node's up and running, you can go visit your uh, node operator dashboard. So go ahead and open your web browser and go to localhost colon 6688, and that should redirect you to the sign-in page here. And go ahead and enter your email and password that you uh, added earlier and click access account. And boom, there you go. Now you're ready to start uh, adding jobs and earning link. And now that that's set up, I'm going to leave you with some homework. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is start fulfilling requests. So in order to do this, you need to create your own Oracle smart contract and then add your node to it so that you can actually do these jobs. But you can follow this guide here step by step. Uh, it's pretty easy to create your own smart contract. You can just do it inside of Remix. And once you do, you'll be ready to start creating jobs. And if you want to get some ideas on how, you know, you can become a unique Chainlink node operator, well, you can go to market.link to see existing Chainlink nodes out there. All right. So this can give you some ideas on the types of data that you can provide to the network. And also you can start marketing yourself with this website too. You know, you can sign up and add your own Chainlink node so that other people will start using it and you can earn that passive income. All right, so that's how you run your own chain link node. So if you get stuck, you know, you can follow any of the guides down below for step-by-step -step instructions, as well as find, you know, links to all those dependencies, the resources, and also the homework instructions. And if you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. You know, it takes a lot of time to produce tutorials like this, and that really helps this channel out whenever you do that. And also after this, you know, if you want to level up your blockchain skills, how else can you do that? Well, there's a few ways. You can go to my YouTube homepage and find any of my free courses listed there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you want to take that next step or, hey, you know, maybe you want to take a massive shortcut entirely, then I can show you how to master blockchain step by step from start to finish. Head on over to dappyuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right. So that's all I got. And until next time, thanks for watching Daffy University.